All right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I was uh, moving my cars around in there to get a little bit more room for filming done because I'm going to be uh, doing some work on the uh, twin turbo VQ swapped S12 over there. But uh, I pulled the FJ out and gave her a wash today. I uh, imported this car uh, November of 2019 and really only driven it a maybe a couple hundred miles since I got it mainly because uh, the person I got it from had to do what they had to do you know over in a foreign country and this turbocharger is actually off of a Subaru STI and they had to custom make the exhaust manifold and it's really not the best I mean it worked okay but the uh, back um, f part of the flange is really warped so if you can see the firewall right here it's just so sooty from exhaust just blowing back onto that and just for reference it's supposed to be nice and red and then it just gets down to this black soot so I have another exhaust manifold that I got from Japan, but I didn't do enough research, but you can never do enough. Um, the manifold that I got was for a right-hand drive FJ car, so the wastegate actually goes like straight into my brake booster on this car. So I can't use that manifold but I'll probably end up using it anyways and then cutting it and relocating the turbo more up in the front with a much larger turbo to suit this motor. Some days she'll be on a full standalone with, you know, plasman intake manifold and all that. But that'll be further down the line and probably later on down the channel for sure. Um, this one's really special though. This whole unit, you will not normally see these in any cars, but um, it's actually a propane injection. And then it comes up into these, and two go right there, and two go right here. And they're actually, I don't know if you can see it quite so well down in there, but they tie into the uh, intake runner on the manifold so there's a button inside the car that once your car's nice and warmed up is what the dude told me so you don't want to start it off in propane but there's a switch right here and you'd think that P is for propane and G is for gasoline but you gotta remember this car came from a foreign country so P means petrol and G means gas and that's just what they call propane it's a gas i don't know why we call a uh fucking a gas a liquid over here but we do it um she's got a little bit of kilometers on her she's seen seen her days on the road was it 422,000 kilometers but man she is beautiful inside the previous owner took really good care of her this actually happened shipping the car over something fell on the uh car when it was on the container ship and it hit there and broke like a perfect circle almost and then uh, it also hit right there so casualties of getting things shipped um but uh yeah so uh, i'll try to start this thing i mean it's been over a year now so or almost a year and a half since i've started it but let's see how this goes driven this car and 
being that there is not any parts available for this motor, I go ahead and try to find them. Uh, I'll have to make it myself. Fuel pressure is a little high right now, so I'm going to take that down a bit. Alright, I got my fuel pressure down a little bit. Um, also, the idle air control valve from this car, I was told, is from some weird late 80s BMW that they had to adapt to it, so that's why she idles a little funny when she's cold. Oh yeah, definitely a big leak back there, so I'm hoping to get that thing fixed here soon. I really miss driving this car, get a lot of looks. sound so much better when all of the exhaust is coming out of there instead of one of the cylinders coming out from up there also it'll boost better and just drive a whole lot better so can't wait to get that done uh, when I got this car it came with like not s12 seats so these are like seats from uh, I think a lotta is what I believe they are those are lotta seats so uh, I had a spare 370 seat for my old 370, so I just tossed that in there and it feels so much nicer. But yeah, for being on, sitting for a year and a half, she's actually running really nice. I would have thought she would have sounded a little worse than that, but she's fired right up. But you know, what do you expect from a way over-engineered Nissan race engine? You know, they're, they're gonna last forever. All right. Right now the brakes on it are a uh, little squishy. I'm guessing there was probably a little air leak or something, so I'm gonna have to bleed them. But I'm gonna have to wait for someone else to get here. It's kind of hard to bleed brakes with only one person. But uh, yeah, this is the FJ, and uh, you'll be seeing a lot more of her in the channel. I mean. Look at all these places that she's been over there in Europe. All these different meets. I plan on taking her to a lot more meets over here, so she'll be able to get seen. I added these three just because I put these parts on recently. Beautiful car and I love every minute of owning it. I love it a whole lot more when this thing's not sounding like that. Oh yeah, it's blowing right onto my hand. It's a fat warp in it. All right, now that she's back up and parked, I'll show you guys the uh, exhaust manifold that I got. Is that a paint chip? What is that? Oh, it's a butterfly or some shit. You blend it in. Thought my paint was chipped. Okay, but uh, so I'll show you guys that. This is the manifold that I got from Japan, and I thought it was gonna work out just Excellent, you know, nice top mount manifold, super thick steel too. Granted, it's a little old, but what are you gonna, what do you expect? So, uh, show you why I can't use it. Bear with me. I only got two hands. All right. So, I was super happy when I got this thing, but then when I actually tried to put it on, that part were the old school four bolt uh, HKS and like Goretti or Blitz turbo wastegates. And I found a couple 
really old ones over in Japan, but they want an ungodly amount of money for them. Um, but basically, I'm probably going to end up cutting this entire top off and cutting this first runner right here and then these other runners down here, probably actually down there, and then having the turbo be more mounted at the front of the car because the way that this manifold is, it would be right at the center of the motor basically and that's like almost right here at the shock tower and I wouldn't be able to fit a very big turbo right there. So I really want to put it up right here, get rid of the mass airflow sensor, um, run a standalone ECU, get rid of spark plug wires and even the distributor cap way down there. It's like way under there too on this thing. So I'm going to have a fucking fun changing that out because uh, I was told by the original owner that the distributor and rotor cap were the originals. And... I know over here I normally switch mine out every year on my old cars because, uh, you know, you drive them. The, the points get bad inside of them. But he told me that this is the original distributor and everything in there. So uh, couldn't find a distributor cap for them because they just don't make them anymore. Uh, I got a hold of a company in Japan and got a rotor head shipped over for like 80 bucks. And then I got some uh, new spark plug wires with new boots. It was like $300, but they're really nice. And uh, I'll be putting those on in a future video. Also got some new HKS uh, plugs for it as well. I'm trying to keep everything that goes on this car, I'm trying to keep it from Japan the way that it was supposed to be. Wow, that's a crazy color. There we go. I don't know what the hell happened there. I look down and it's all orange and shit. All right, but it's probably enough on this motor for today. Uh, tomorrow's project, after I get all this cleaned up a little bit better, is uh, to put a extended oil pan sump on the bottom of my VQ 37 VHR motor so that way my turbo drains can drain down into my oil pan and then uh, I got some parts from a company that I emailed coming that's gonna take that oil filter and get rid of that location at least I'll put a plate in there and uh, probably run the oil filter somewhere else in the engine bay maybe out here in the front behind the bumper or something like that I did that with my uh, 370z so yeah we'll get to that and uh, you'll be able to see that on a future video so don't forget to like and subscribe and follow for more videos